Nice work on exercise one. The next reading documentation exercise is electric company. The bright, bright electric company needs you to make a contact us page, okay? Set up the structure is part one. First, we're gonna create two divs, one with the class header, the other with the class content. In the header div, we're gonna put in a H1 tag that says bright, bright electric company. You can see that here on the right. In the content div, we're gonna put the contact information that you see here, okay? Um, we're gonna use break tags. We already Already learned about this to make sure everything's on a separate line. Next, we're going to set up the style. So we're going to give our header a lemon chiffon font color. I really like the sound of that color. Okay, background color black and a width of 50%. Then the content background color honeydew. Oh my god, I'm loving these colors. Lemon chiffon, honeydew, sounding so good. Okay, font size 24 pixels and width of 70%. Finally, give the body this background image shown only once, no repeat. We're going to use this code HS images dash light bulb, and we're going to use the docs to see how to add a background image and set the repeat. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first thing we need to do is create a div with the class header. Okay, so you can see that here in my comments what I need to do. So class equals header. And inside the header, we're going to put an H1 tag. Remember, you can always use the exercise tab to revisit the instructions. The H1 tag should say, um, ba, 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 bright, bright electric company. Okay, so put that right in there. Beautiful. Next, a div with a class equal to content. And that is gonna hold the content information. Let me put that under this comment, okay, just to keep things nice and neat and readable. Okay, and inside of here, we're going to put in all of this contact information. So I'm just gonna copy and paste it because I can be lazy sometimes. Okay, break to make sure that it is basically formatted like this. So remember, even though we have it uh, broken up here in different lines, Okay, doesn't mean the browser is going to understand that. We need to give the browser explicit instructions. It's not as smart as we are, and it doesn't understand how we want it formatted. So that break tag should help us with the formatting. Let's run this and see what we have so far. Okay, this looks good. All right, now we need to style it up so that it looks how uh, we saw in the example exercise. Okay, so we want to go ahead and grab that header class. So remember these are classes, so our rules are going to be formatted using those class names. So dot header will have a background color, oh sorry, font color. So remember the property for that is, lem, um, sorry, is color and the value is lemon chiffon. And the width or background color is going to be black, so that should be some nice contrast. And then finally, the width set to 50%. Beautiful. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to style the content class. Okay, and this one is going to have the background color of honeydew, a font size of 24 pixels, and a width of 70%. Okay, so a little wider than our header. Let's uh, run this and see how things are looking. Okay, this looks good. Okay, I know you can barely tell, but there is a light background color on that contact us um, content div. All right, now last thing is to add in the rule for our body. So we want to use the docs to figure out how to insert a background image. So I'm going to go over to background. Okay, and I can see that background image is the property that I need to use. And basically, we want to set it up like this. Okay, so now we're going to use that property. The only thing that we're going to change is the value. I'm doing a lot of copying and pasting here. Okay, we're gonna just copy that and 
paste it in. So if we run this now, we should see that we got that image in. All right, but what it's doing here is it's tiling. Okay, it's repeating over and over because we have not specified any value for the repeat property. So let's go ahead and see if we can find some documentation on that. So over in the docs, I'm going to go over to the W3 schools and see if I can find the background image property. And hopefully we can get some information on that. Okay, so the exercise actually is stating to, yeah, let's go over there and see background image. Okay. All right, so we can see here in the documentation how we set it up. We already figured that part out. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can find any information on the repeat property. Okay, so over here, we can see that background dash repeat set to no repeat repeat basically um, is an option that we can use for our um, project. So let's try that out and see if it'll work. Okay, so background no repeat because basically it wants us to show only one. So let's go ahead and paste that in. Let's refresh our web page and see what we get. All right, that looks good. Okay, so we do not want it to repeat at all. We just want it to show up once and we've achieved that using the background repeat property. Okay, remember that you can always, always check your code to make sure that you're getting all of the results um, that you need. Oh, looks like we're missing something. We should have a P tag inside the content. Let's go back and fix that. So our content should be hold, held in a paragraph tag. Okay. All right, but we still need those break tags, so uh, make sure that you are leaving those in. Okay, guys, so that wraps up our exercise for the Bright or the Electric Company. If you have any questions, please leave it in a comment. Nice work. We have one exercise left for this lesson. Nice job, everyone.